Hello everyone, today I'm in the busy Shinjuku because I'm going to spend a whole afternoon here and show you what some of my favorite things to do are as well as some of the new spots that just opened and I brought some of my friends we have Alex Hi. and Alyssa it's the... right now we're in Kabukicho area which is where the famous Godzilla is they have the movie cinema, they have all the izakayas and it's a little bit of a Ayashi, so like a suspicious <laughs> kind of dangerous area at nighttime. So don't come here by yourself if you're a woman, people are gonna come up to you. But it's also the coolest place in Tokyo to get the vibe of the city. I wanna take you guys to one of my favorite spots in Shinjuku. And no, it's not one of the neon lights or the Godzilla. It's this really quiet shrine down like a small street, only five minutes from Kabukicho. So we're going in right now and it's already noticeably quieter, right? <laughs> Except your voice. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is Hanozono Shrine. It feels completely different from the, you know, really busy streets of Shinjuku. And it's also really green. There's nature. You've got the shrine that's beautiful red. And I just really like coming here because it's such a contrast and I can kind of relax and breathe because it's so, so busy and there's so many people. What's your favorite thing about this shrine? I got my first mosquito bite of the season here because <laughs> of all the trees. It's actually that it's like super quiet, like so yeah. much of the noise in the city gets drowned out here. Yeah. And as soon as we leave, we're instantly like back in the busiest part of Tokyo. Mm. So you look really cool if you bring friends or like family That's here. That's true. We like, do that, yeah. We do that a lot. I always bring people here to impress them. And I feel like it's cool because there's like a few entryways. You have mm. like going straight down here. And Golden Guy is that way. Exactly. So you walk right into Golden Guy. I think Guy. I stumbled on like across Go Golden Guy from leaving here once. Like I didn't realize it was Golden Me too. Guy. I yeah. also I was like, wait, this is familiar. <laughs> yeah. You don't even need to travel to Kyoto. They have a line of Tori Gates in Shinjuku. It is smaller, but still not bad. And we even have a Kitsune here. Now they're setting up for the Natsumatsuri they hold here every year. I actually stumbled across this by accident last year or the year before and I couldn't believe they had a Matsu here because I come here and it's super quiet. It's actually cool to just be in the middle of Shinjuku and it's a complete opposite vibe like the traditional Japanese culture. One thing I'll mention there are actually a lot of police that come to the shrine because we're near Kabukicho and so there's a lot of like kind of Ayashi people and so there's two cops about to walk past me right about now. But just come here, relax enjoy a different kind of feeling to Shinjuku. So we're heading to Kabuki Tower now and it only just opened a month ago in May so it's really really new and I've only been there once really briefly but they have a bunch of like restaurants, they have game centers and it's very modern. It feels like something I'd find in Sydney not Japan but it's kind of like a gimmicky place <laughs> to say so to say but I'm gonna test out the food and see if it's actually good. So, I'll see you inside. Welcome to Kabuki Tower. It is a really intense kind of restaurant that are all like closely bunched together. But they've got all the neon lights, they've got all these like lanterns. It's a really fun vibe. They've got music playing and we found a restaurant we're gonna check out. But I'm gonna give you a bit of a walk around to see what is here. They have different cuisines for each restaurant. So they might have like Okinawa cuisine or Kyushu cuisine. So if you want to try foods from all across Japan without traveling, you can do it here. Honestly, walking around here is really fun. It's so colorful and I, my eyes don't know where to look. And I think that whoever designed it knew exactly what foreigners visiting Japan would like. There's even a disco ball. Like, this is just a really cool place. There's wall art, there's signs. This is, this is really cool, actually. It's also slowly getting busier. So I can imagine like tonight, it's going to be a full house. I'm going to go down the other end. Oh, they even have some Japanese style tables where you put your legs inside and you probably have to take off your shoes. We decided on Kabuki Cafe. I feel like the atmosphere is really cool. If you do come, be careful because they don't start serving food until 5 p.m. So you can get your drinks until then. It's not too busy, but last time I came, you actually had to line up to sit down at a lot of these places, especially on like Fridays and Saturdays. One other thing I'll mention is just looking at the menu, it's a little pricey. I feel like it's a bit of a tourist trap. Like they know people are going to spend a lot of money. Just be aware, if you go to a local izakaya or restaurant, it's gonna be way cheaper. So we should get this giant bowl right here. It says lemon sour. It's $3,000 oh, champagne. That is so cheap. Oh, are you paying for us? You're paying for so... it. Subscribe so Sarah can buy us the <laughs> champagne. It's a normal like beer yeah. one. This is a really oh. basic menu. They decided on the mega drink. Show me what you're getting. Check this out, a giant bowl, lemon sour. For three people, it's about 1600 each. It's not bad. Sarah's gonna love it. 
Okay, I just walked around and came back and this thing is so, 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 so big. What the f <laughs> This is way too big. Be warned if you order this. It's good value for your money, but holy sh Oh my God. I am so sorry. This is way bigger than I thought it was. It's a bit overwhelming, but there is a lot of ice, so hopefully it's not as bad. So here's a mega lemon sour. I don't think I've ever seen something this big. Like, oh my God. Come by, guys. Come by. Really refreshing. Yeah. I like it. And they have some mint leaves in there. So it's overall a good drink. But I feel like it's too easy to drink, which is not, that's dangerous. <laughs> I finished my first glass. I don't know how many more are capable like of fitting in here. Uh, we're friends with the neighbors. Hello. And he's gonna help us drink our lemon sour. He's gonna have a little bit. So thank you. Arigato. Okay. Oh. So apparently our friend was uh, grew up in the US, so he speaks perfect English. <laughs> so you never know who you meet. He's really friendly, so shout out what's your name? My name is Yuki. Yuki, shout out to Yuki. We did our best to drink as much of this giant thing as possible. Um, I think this is my seventh. Yeah, eight. We need to recruit more members. Come to Shinjuku now. Help. Come help us. Yeah. <laughs> On the second floor of the Kabuki Tower, they have hundreds of games you can play here, like Gacha Gacha, and then you also have claw games, and I am a big fan. You never win claw games. Like, I do! They're impossible! No, but I do. I feel like I've won at least six things, because I'm addicted recently. It's my newfound addiction. I was addicted, but I'm reformed now. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll share that story yeah. a bit later, yeah. but let's go check out all the games they have here, because there's so much to do. I found a Totodile that I really want. He was my favorite starter from that generation so let's see if I can do it also it's so much more expensive here some of the crane games cost 400 yen and for this one it's 290 per one play that's a lot that's almost three times the price of other places you can get like 100 yen places Alyssa has had some trauma when it comes to crane games you want to share I'm in rehab for crane <laughs> games I've sworn them off I stopped completely because I was trying to win a torchic which yeah. is my favorite like starter and I think I spent almost 40 American dollars on what? it. What? Did you? I, I totally fell for it. But you, you got it. You got it. Yeah. yeah, after I begged the staff. I was like, send me my staff. <laughs> like, please. Yeah. It was the sunk cost fallacy. It's so dangerous. You think, like, yeah. you're almost there. You're not there. It's a, not a scam, but. But that was also the 100 yen place. That wasn't like the yeah, 290. Yeah. Yeah. Each try was like 100 yen. It took me like 30 tries or something. That's so bad. Okay, well, I'm. Well, yeah, I'm going to see. Ah. All timed, we've got 30 seconds. There's no way I'm gonna get this in one go. Always check all your angles. It's really hard, they don't let you check to the side as much. Okay. Oh my god, actually, that's close. Should I kill? I feel like I need to go again. Oh my god, this is what always happens. Oh man, what do you think? You're not gonna get it. Oh my god, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm gonna do one more because I'm addicted. <laughs> okay. By the way guys, you can go down the street into another crane center and they have so many cheaper places with the same items, so don't do it here. <laughs> oh my god, come on! <laughs> okay, I got it. That was worth it. I don't know how I did it. Yeah, well, you gotta get good. Oh, thank you. Oh, Alright, I'm going home with this boy. This is why I have trauma. <laughs> $40 on a freaking torch egg that size. Oh my god. I'm happy for you. Living abroad away from my family without my pets has been really hard. So we're gonna try and get some animal love by going to a cat cafe. And Alex here is a really big cat fan, <laughs> right? You can tell from my dress. I know, yeah. she dressed appropriately. <laughs> you can't know. buy people love, but you can buy cat love. Exactly. So let's cat. 
time to go to Cat Cafe Mocha and it's on the sixth floor and it's located quite centrally in Shinjuku. I'm really, really excited. Part of the entry fee requires you to pay for one drink and you can get it from this machine here. You've got like things like Coke, but then you have hot drinks too or corn soup. So there's something that hopefully everyone would like. There are so many adorable kittens here. Oh, and I have a snack to feed them and they are hungry. Oh my God, they're so soft. And then this is one of my favorites. Look how like big his eyes are, so fluffy. He's greedy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's share with this boy. There are so many cats in here and oh, he's going for it. Whoa, wow. boy. You go share. Share it. <laughs> I like seeing the different personalities of cats. You can see like this one's more timid. This one's more of a go-getter. You know, if you were, you'd be in finance. He's a finance cat. When you come here, you can get drinks and you can kind of chill and they have a great all day deal for just like 20 bucks. So you can just come here and chill with the cats all day and, you know, play games, they have computers. It's like the dream. I don't know why I didn't come sooner. And they're so soft. <gasps> that tail. Kawaii. <laughs> so friggin' cute. His eyes are so big. Yeah, you like that ice block. I kind of want to know what's made of, like if I lick it. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> oh, it does not smell good. <laughs> It smells like cat food. Just don't eat it. <laughs> but you like it, yeah, you do. <laughs> Will they love me without the candy? That is the question. It's conditional love, which is pretty good. It's the best I can get. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this space is how like relaxing and chill it is. They have this like piano music playing in the background or jazz kind of style. There's lots of places to chill and read manga and just relax. So it doesn't feel like we're in the middle of Shinjuku. It just feels like we're hanging out with a friend's house, with a really big friend's house in Japan. With lots of cats. And as soon as you make a loud noise, all the cats like dash. But it's such a cool place. I, I'm going to come back ASAP. I got a maple tea as part of my free drink bar. It smells really good. What'd you get? Onion soup. It seems fitting for a cat cafe, doesn't it? Well... We're having discussions about cats and we all want to buy a cat now. Yes. What breed would you want? I kind of want a Gucci cat, personally. I like huh? the Louis Vuitton oh, okay. ones too. But, well, I know. like Burberry, so maybe a Burberry cat. A Burberry cat? Yeah. yeah, I think that white one from before was a Burberry. Yeah. Actually, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, they're all bougie. Yeah. All right, I'm going to surprise them with some cat paws and cat ears. Can There's I have a paw, paw too? Can I have ears? So pretty as a cat. It's such a I'm like sad cat. Sad cat. Fun fact, nyan means meow in Japanese. We just got to witness the feeding time and it was the most adorable thing ever. They actually lined up all the bowls in like this kind of curve shape and all the cats would just come and they just started eating. You just hear the sounds of the, you know, metallic bowl and the rice, not rice crackers, the like <laughs> cat crackers. Biscuits. Um, biscuits? Do you call them biscuits? Yeah, cat biscuits. Cat biscuits? I feel like I call them cat crackers. Really? I don't know. You mean the pellets? You call them pellets? All right. <laughs> but you can tell like which cats were hungry and which weren't because some took like one bite and were like, no. Nope. So if you do want to see the feeding time, you have to come either in the morning or evening. We've come to Otoya for dinner to wrap up the night and it's this kind of teishoku-san and they have like quite a few options like karage, mokodofu, you have namban chicken, um, you've got some seafood options but it's usually on the healthier side compared to other places and this is Alyssa's first time. Yay. This is my first time coming to this location but we have a cool view of the Shinjuku street behind us which I'm a big fan of that. I'm gonna order on this tablet. It's kind of really confusing. This, it feels like so much is going on here. Time to dig into this beautiful meal. It looks really good. I'm starving. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I got here. Sagimasu. Mm. This is so tasty. It has a sweet, savory soy sauce flavor, so like a mixture. It must be sweet soy sauce. And then I really like the way they've done the rice because we've got pieces of seaweed in here, but there's five grains, so it's slightly healthier. This is so good. Oh my god. 
And then the negi, which is spring onion. Cooked to perfection. Like a bit of juice came out of that. I'll try my miso soup. Very light. Maybe I need to mix it. Sometimes I find miso soup is a bit intense and strong because I'm not that good with seafood, but this one's very light. I'm enjoying this meal. Good choice, Sarah. Good choice. I also love the like lacquer box they give you. It's so pretty. It makes it feel luxurious. I'm gonna have some of the egg. Probably should have it with the chicken. That's so good. Raw egg is something I'm addicted to ever since I moved to Japan. I eat veggie mask. It's really good. It's like a ginger soy sauce, kind of like sauce. Very tasty. This is the end of my Shinjuku outing. Yay! I'll come back again soon and I'm gonna go back to that cat cafe. So I'll see you on another outing in Tokyo. Bye! Totodile is mine! <laughs>